Carlos Alcaraz versus Casper Ruud is the final for Miami for 2022. And both guys have been impressive to get to the final stage. Alcaraz started the tournament as the number 14 seed and got a bye in the first round. His second round opponent was Hungarian Fucevic and he demolished him in straight sets, 6-3, 6-2. In the third round, he played the 21st seed Marin Cilic, which on paper looked like a tough match. However, Alcaraz won in straight sets, 6-4, 6-4. In the fourth round, he came up against Stefano Tsitsipas, the number three seed, who he played a five-set epic with at the US Open last year. And after a close first set, Alcaraz blew City Pass away, getting to the quarterfinals in straight sets, 7-5, 6-3. In the quarterfinals, it would be his toughest match yet, taking on the unseeded Kecmenovic, who had had a very good season thus far. And after going down in the first set, dropping his first set for the week, Alcaraz rebounded, having to win in a tie break in the third, 6-7, 6-3, 7-6. In the semifinals, he took on the number eight seed and defending champion, Hubert Hercatch. And just like the previous round, he'd had to play a couple of tie breaks, but this time Alcaraz would win them both, making his way to the final in straight sets, 7-6, 7-6. Rude entered the tournament as the number six seed and got a bye in the first round. His second round opponent was the Swiss player Laxanen, and Rude had no trouble getting through, winning in straight sets, 6-1, 6-2. His third round opponent was the number 30 seed Bublik, who could be a tricky customer at times. However, on this day, Rude had it easy, and he got through in straight sets, 6-3, 6-2. In the fourth round, he'd take on last year's Indian Wells champion and the number 10 seed, Cam Norrie. And this looked like a tough match on paper, but it wasn't tough for Rude, who got through again in straight sets, 6-3, 6-4. In the quarterfinals, he'd take on Alexander Zverev, the number two seed, a man he'd played previously a couple of times, and although Zverev was clearly battling some sickness, Rude would have to fight to get through dropping the second set, but eventually winning in three, 6-3, 1-6, 6-3. In his semi-final, he'd take on the unseeded Serendolo, who was a surprise to make it this far in the tournament. And after a very tight first set, Rude would eventually blow him away, 6-4, 6-1, to make his first Masters 1000 final. These two have actually played one time before on the clay courts in Spain last year with Alcaraz getting the straight sets win. If Alcaraz is going to win, he needs to be aggressive. We've seen him be so aggressive throughout the tournament and throughout the last couple of weeks, including Indian Wells, when he had a great run. We're going to have to see that aggression again, but will he be spooked on the main stage in the final this time? He's been pretty good in the clutch moments throughout this tournament throughout last week. If Rude's going to win, he's going to have to make Alcarez move. He's going to have to hit the angled shots. You don't want to get in a hitting match with Alcarez. I know Kecmenovic had some luck with that, but Hercatch didn't have luck with that. And we know the serving of Rude is not the big weapon. It's about the angles and the topspin on that forehand side. So if he can play similar to how Rafa played Alcarez in uh, Indian Wells, maybe Rude can get the win. This is a very tough match because a couple of clay quarters making their first final in a Master 1000 on a hard court, but I'm going to go with Alcarez. I feel like the fairy tale is going to be complete. Everyone's hyping up Alcarez, and I like Casper Rude. I think he's done very well to get to this stage, but I just think Alcarez is going to have too many weapons and be able to hit the ball through Casper Rude, but let me know down in the comments below, who do you think is going to win this final?